In an exclusive CBS News interview, former acting attorney general Sally Yates, who was fired, you recall, in a confrontation with then-President Trump over travel bans, she's revealing now her private battle with breast cancer. As we mark Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we're pleased to say that Yates is now cancer-free, very pleased indeed. She says she continued to do critical work during her health crisis. Yates was diagnosed, believe it or not, in 2020, around the same time she testified to Congress about the Justice Department's investigation of the 2016 Trump campaign and Russian interference in the election. She also spoke at the Democratic National Convention while fighting her uphill battle behind closed doors, trying to restore her health. Here's part now of her conversation with CBS Evening News anchor and managing editor Nora O'Donnell. I think about the timing of this. Last summer, you were testifying before Congress and speaking at the Democratic National Convention. What was it like going through such a private battle while being a public person? Well, you know, that was that was odd. Um, you know, I, I tend to compartmentalize my life in some ways. And professionally, you know, much of my professional life has been somewhat in the public eye. I'm a pretty private person, but this was one of those times where the personal and the professional collided. And so it was, I think, just about five days before I was to testify in the Senate Judiciary Committee about the Russia investigation that I got the final diagnosis, that it was invasive cancer. And that's some pretty important testimony that you were about to give. It was. Gates has a lot to say about that Senate hearing, and you can see more of Nora's interview tonight on the CBS Evening News, and you can go to cbsnews.com right now to read an exclusive essay that Yates wrote about her experience fighting breast cancer. I mean, it's a, another case where you never know the personal yeah, battle right. a person is fighting as yeah. they are in public. Well, we knew she was strong to begin with, but now it just exposes a whole different side to this woman. Yeah. It is mind-blowing to me that in this day and age, with social media and everything else, that people can keep these types of things yes. private. Yeah. Yeah. That says something. Yeah. I'm actually yeah. heartened by that fact. Me too. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and I've always said that women should wear capes because they can bear so much more than they let us know that they're dealing Absolutely. with. Absolutely. Aww. <laughs> That's for sure.